All right, welcome everyone. So in this video, I'm going to give you a little bit of an outline of the syllabus and the course for chemistry 1342. This is second semester of general chemistry. Okay, talk about things like thermodynamics, um, acids and bases, chemical equilibrium, chemical kinetics, and other such topics. Okay. So I'm your professor, Dr. Yost here. My office is in Chemistry 309. Um, my email address is listed here, right? SRY18, TexasState.edu. Right, the office hours for this class I'm going to be doing over Zoom, right? So if you would like to meet for me for office hours, just shoot me an email and I can set up some, in either an individual or a group meeting over Zoom, right, for answer any questions related with the course, right? And as <clears throat> said at the start here, we'll be covering a variety of topics in this class. Okay, so this there will be a lot of information to take in. Okay, this is not an easy course historically. I think the DFW rate is around 40% for the second semester of general chemistry. Okay, so I'm not trying to tell you this to scare you, but I am trying to tell you this that you need to put in effort for this class. Okay to pass this class, there's a lot to cover, a lot to do, and so it is very easy to get caught behind, fall behind, right, um, in the class and, and kind of feel lost, right? So you need to put in effort by reading the material, watching the lecture videos, attending class, working through problems, attending your SI sessions, right, and please come to me for any questions and any help you might need. Yeah. Right, <clears throat> because of some of the COVID-19 changes on campus, we'll be doing a number of things, right? First of all, the class will be split um, into two groups. Group A will meet on Monday, group B will meet on Wednesday, okay? Um, <clears throat> Right, so there's sort of be a group C of people that might be taking the class online temporarily due to quarantine or potentially permanently due to um, health concerns. Okay, there's a sitting chart that will be that's posted on Canvas, so check there. Okay, for that seating chart, the main thing I'm wanting to make sure is people sit in the maroon chairs on, in Chemistry 100. Okay, um, <clears throat> those will be marked. Okay, I'm not going to be sitting taking attendance every day to make sure that everyone is sitting in their assigned seat. Uh, just know that the assigned seats are there for kind of contact tracing and, and other things related with making sure if someone falls ill with COVID-19, people, proper people are made aware. So, so, you know, I suggest using sitting in your assigned seat. But um, again, I'm not going to be checking that. So if you feel like not sitting in your science seat, that's fine. But you need to sit in a chair that's marked with a maroon symbol because those chairs are designed for people who are attending classes on Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. Okay. When you enter Chemistry 100, you enter through the outside doors on the first floor. Okay. Um, <clears throat> if you're standing on the chalkboard facing the chairs, left door. Okay. Uh, when you exit, we'll be exiting through the right door by the stairwell and elevators. Okay, we'll exit class row by row so people don't bunch up by the exit. Okay, right. If you become ill, you need to go to Student Health Center, contact them, and they will then uh, pro contact the appropriate people that need to be con contacted. Right. Face masks are required by campus. I require them in my classroom. If you do not have some sort of face covering you'll be asked to leave the class, okay? This, uh, I apologize if you don't want to wear it, but this is a university policy, um, and so you need to wear some type of face covering, okay? For yourself and for those around you. All right, so lectures are going to be recorded and posted online, okay? Um, the lectures are going to be me going over the lecture material. I'm going to be going over the material in the book and discussing the concepts and, and, and uh, the material, right? In class, what we will be doing is um, we will be highlighting certain lecture points, and then I will be doing lots of example problems and going over questions 
And there will also be at the end of class some daily questions that will be part of your participation grades we'll talk about later. In class, lectures will be recorded on Zoom and live on Zoom as well for those who are not able to attend in person. Okay. Right, I, I expect you to be watching lecture videos and reading the book before class starts, okay, so that you're prepared and, and uh, you know, aren't necessarily confused the entire class time as we're doing examples related with the lecture material, okay. Um, quizzes on each chapter will be given on Canvas, okay, um, <clears throat> and homework will be done via Sapling Learn, okay. So you'll need to create a Sapling account to do the homework. Okay. Course grade is broken up as follows, right? There are going to be three regular exams in the final. There will be quiz, homework, your participation grade are going to be these daily, weekly, um, short questions, multiple choice type questions, right? And um, your supplemental instruction grade is going to be based off attending SI session. Okay. Exam dates are listed there right now. Those will not change, so keep those in mind. Okay, right. I'll make a note here that on Canvas, they post sort of a total grade for your class. That total grade does not include the weighting that I have amongst other things, so please ignore that, okay? Do not use Canvas's total grade as an estimate of your actual total grade. I will periodically, especially after exams, post people's current grades on Canvas so you have an idea of what your current grade is, okay? You are potentially able to take this class online only, though I will note that there are three other sections of 1342. All of those sections are online only, okay? So I am going to suggest that you first try to find one of those sections to get into that class and take the online only classes that are offered for 1342, okay? Um, now, they might be full right now, but section but space will open up um, near the start of the semester and in that first week so again i highly suggest you swap over to one of these other sections um, assuming it fits your schedule if you can't if it doesn't fit your schedule or things like that i can make accommodations for those who need to take the class online for health concerns right um, as part of the accommodations you will be taking all exams over zoom right those Zoom exams will be proctored. You will have to have a separate laptop or phone with a camera that you will log into Zoom on that and so that I can see your whatever computer you're using to take the exam on Canvas as well as your workstation. Okay, those Zoom sessions will be recorded, right? Um, you will have the same amount of time as students who take the exam face to face and you will be taking the exam at the same time as people taking it face to face, okay? Um, <clears throat> And if there's material you need to send me, like showing extra work and things like that, I suggest you use the Adobe Scan app in order to upload that. All right, there are no makeup exams in this class. If you miss a regular exam, that exam score can be replaced by the final exam. Okay, um, you will be provided periodic table and um, a list of equations, which you can already find on um, the Canvas website. Okay, no other notes, no other sets of equations will be provided. Okay, final exam will be written by me or the faculty that are teaching this class combined, um, and it will not be an ACS final. Okay, <clears throat> homework is via Sapling. You have to purchase subscription on there. Okay. Homework is generally due um, the next class day after we finish the topic. The due dates are already um, posted and set up on Sapling for you to see. Supplemental instruction will be given by Riley Rogers. She's your SI leader. Okay, in the first week of class, she'll come and talk a little bit more about that. Okay, but as just an overview, you need to attend 10 sessions by November 9th. Okay, ideally you should attend one per week. You can attend no more than two hours worth of SI sessions in a given week, okay? This is 5% of your grade, right? To attend these sessions, they will be done over Zoom, right? And you have to have your camera on, right? And be there for the full time to receive full credit. 
Okay. The calendar is given in our on, in your syllabus, right? A similar type of calendar will be posted on Canvas. Okay. The exam dates on the calendar are set in stone, so be aware of when those dates are. Okay. Um, <clears throat> right. Uh, and it lists right in the calendar what chapters will be covered when. So keep in mind of the pace in which we will be moving through things in class. Okay. Um, <clears throat> right. And again, as a reminder, there are no makeup exams. So if you um, miss those exam dates, right, then your regular exam, one of them will be replaced by your final. Okay. And if you don't miss any exams, right, and take all three regular exams, if you score better on, on the final exam, then one of your regular exams that will replace, then the final will replace one of those regular exams. Okay. Um, <clears throat> right. And uh, so <clears throat> as just a final note, okay, I, I do expect people to be reading the material and watching the lecture videos that I prepare and going over the lecture notes before class, okay, because in class we'll be just doing example problems and other such things, okay. Look forward to seeing you guys on Monday and start of this new semester.